Welcome back to my token series. I have an upcoming playthrough starting for Abomination Vaults, an adventure path by Paizo, where we will begin at level 1. For this, despite the recent expansion for Pathfinder 2 via Secrets of Magic, I'll be playing a kobold rogue named Snick. When I created this character, I honestly was aiming for another sneaky, small character like my halfling swashbuckler named Gulliver Halfpint, who was a menace in his own adventure. But Snick is sneaky for a different reason entirely. He'll be a snare specialist. The dedication I will be putting feats into is called Snare Crafter, which allows me to make snares at no cost if I know their formula. When the cheapest snare is 3 golds worth of crafting material, this can add up quickly, especially when I get to the more expensive ones later, as this campaign will go till about level 8 or 9. The artist whose work best fit how I thought Snick's token should look is Lloyd Hoshide. I do hope I got the name right, but his work is colorful, fun, and eye-catching. The link to his art station will be in the description below. But you can see the very kobold piece that caught my eye already, and that is this one. Despite the samurai-looking armor, the dual daggers and motion the character has caught my attention over every other kobold piece I looked at. I won't lie, it makes me want to practice my own art just looking at it. Due to the vibes I got from reading and looking at the art for the player's guide for Abomination Vaults had me imagining a brick underground dungeon. I wanted something that fit the immediate description I initially had. Gray, cold, moss-covered stone bricks. Any place built with these would put any adventurer on edge upon entering. With the relatively simple token created, I now needed Snick to match my character description of him. He's a green kobold, so the first major change I need to make is on his scale colors. But first, I got to isolate the sneaky, scaly scoundrel himself. A cut around the dagger that is in a slashing motion. This will be part of that adds dimension to the overall piece. With the background removed, I now need to cut around the kobold's visible scales and play around with his coloring. I tried several adjustment layers before doing what I normally would do, and nothing really seemed to stick for me. It never felt quite right. I ended up painting the selected area white, and used my knowledge of layer manipulation to hone in on that perfect green tone. After the scales were finished, I then went to do smaller details that would make a world of difference upon completion. I found some gray spots from the background section that I missed. The eyes should be a different color, and the red armor dulled a bit more. Thank you. 
I also added a drop shadow to the cobalt as I enjoy the look a nice soft shadow adds. But since the cobalt's layer is above the bricks to make the dagger work, I had to rasterize the layer and cut away any unnecessary shadowing. Looking at his cape, I wanted to make it a different color entirely. I tried a few shades and was originally aiming for a black or gray tone, but it ended up looking amazing with a maroon color. Looking at it now, for some reason, he feels oddly familiar. Finally, Pathfinder Kobolds have scale variety to them. I don't think I'm going to push it as hard as their art depicts, but I definitely want some shades of blue to be visible in the right light. The last bit of color change I needed to make was for the kobold's claws and horns. After the rest of the piece coming together so nicely, I immediately wanted to set them to black. I added one last touch, a lens flare on the dagger's edge. And here he is, Snick, the Snare Master. Ooh, you look juicy. I'm going to catch you. Snick's stealth at level 1 is a plus 7. That, combined with his feats and terrain stalker for ruins, means in the depths of the Abomination Vault is going to be quite difficult to even notice he's planning your demise. Thanks for watching this video. I'm not sure what token will be next, but I cannot wait to see what inspires me.